All right, hey, let me take a few minutes and talk about this um, this assignment. I think it's actually a pretty a pretty good one because it it is going to allow you to um, read um, what I think is a pretty good but also a pretty challenging um, analysis of the Gospel of Mark, and then um, I'm going to put you to work, and I'm going to ask you to read some of that or to read some of the Gospel of Mark, and then read that through the lens of this of this author. So um, Dr. Bart Ehrman is a really um, very, very well respected and a really good New Testament scholar. And, and in this reading, you are going to be looking at his arguments regarding um, the Gospel of Mark. And, and essentially, he's arguing in this, that if you look at the Gospel of Mark, you can see um, Mark's thesis that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, supported kind of throughout the entire work of the gospel. And so he argues, and in in and you when you read it, like you'll you'll totally see what I'm talking about. But he argues that Jesus is the, and then like um, he makes like seven or eight different arguments, like the um, blank, like fill in the blank, Son of God. And so your main task is to really read that and read it well and be sure that you understand his argument. Because when you do, uh, the next thing that you're going to do is I'm going to ask you to read Mark chapter 10 and then Mark chapter 15. And, and I think in those two chapters, I know in those two chapters, you're going to be able to see examples of what Dr. Ehrman is talking about. Now, are you going to see every single um, point that, that, that Bar Ehrman makes? Well, no, but I, I chose those two passages in particular because you're gonna be able to see Jesus as the you know, suffering son of God, for example. And, and you're gonna be able to then extrapolate and, and use some of what you know uh, from the reading um, to really inform your reading from the New Testament. And so really what I'm asking you guys to do is to prepare an oral presentation about the connections that you see uh, between Mark 10 and 15 um, and the reading that, um, that I'll have for you. I'll try to put this online if I can. If not, I'll have it um, up at the school for you as well. And so I want you to record and submit an oral presentation um, making your arguments. You know, I could make you write something, but I really do think that, that um, practicing our um, oral communication skills is going to be really important here. So. Um, this will take a little bit of time, but I don't think that this is overwhelmingly difficult. I do think that this is a pretty, a pretty legit assignment where you can um, learn about the New Testament, learn about Jesus, and then also grow in your, um, your reading skills, your critical thinking skills, and then also your communication skills. So you can see the, um, the rubric that I have down here. Like a lot of my other work, I want you to be conversational. I don't want you to be overly reliant upon notes and... Um, and I really want you to be using as best you can, um, like vocabulary and language from the reading. And now, um, the, the second thing I'm, I'm going to be grading you on is the critical thinking. Now here I want to see depth. Okay. Let me, let me, let me try to say that, um, again, I really want to see depth here because whenever you're reading Mark 15 and you're reading about the suffering of Jesus, I don't want you to just say, um, Jesus is suffering, and therefore that is proof of, you know, Jesus as the suffering Son of God. I need to see depth. I need to see you being able to connect with not just the title of Jesus is the, you know, blank Son of God, but, but the, I need to see the depth, the, uh, the, the more robust academic work that the airman is, is saying. Um, and I hope that makes sense. If not, please uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, but I really want to see you get below the surface on this stuff. And, and I think that, that you will be uh, better for it. I think that you'll be able to see some of those deeper layers in other forms of literature, um, not only religious literature, but outside of this as well. And um, so you'll submit this to me, and um, I look forward to, uh, to listening to these things.